Paul Jordan, I'm 26 and I'm a professional road racer here in Ireland. Basically got into more about sports hill racing whenever I was younger, you know, was brought down to just the family and um, something my father loved and he's just sort of passed it on to me to go on and you know basically trying to achieve me and his dreams and you know it's one of the best things in the world knowing that you're that losing public roads and go as fast as you want. Basically started losing my hair or like losing my hair loss when I was around 20 and I was like just about any time I was like washing my hair I could see like small hairs in my hand and didn't really think too much of it and then as the years went on though I was like 23, 24 I noticed it more and like could notice my hair. Lime was starting to go back so it was like buying stuff off uh, eBay that could try and like just hide the receding hairline that I was starting up here. Battle from the mates and whatnot, you know, it's like and I think you know you try and put on a brave face but deep down you know it it, it does hurt. It was definitely for the worst, you know, because any time I was coming in, you know, I was really cautious about uh, taking my helmet off in front of people. Because when I was sweating, you know, we could I noticed the hair, you know, the hair was a lot more finer then and it stuck together so it made, you know, the other seating bit look a lot worse. So anytime I was racing I always had somebody there with a hat or something so I could get my head covered as quick as possible before anybody could see me. When I started seeing that the hair loss was getting a lot worse, um, I looked into it and then I came across DHA Northern Ireland in, uh, on Instagram. So then I uh, contacted them for a consultation and I came down and you know, I asked all the questions and the DHA consultant, he was a former patient of them, so you know he was fit to show me his progress from where he was and you know and told me about his experience and how he was when ever he'd lost his and why he went forward and got his done. Um, so yeah, it definitely helped me and it was a lot more at ease whenever he was fit to tell me the same things I'd been through so, and you know that's why I wanted to come down and see them and you know, get the hair transplant. You know, the doctor and his assistant was there, you know, they took me in and talked me through everything they were going to do and showed me where my hairline, where they had advised me to put my hairline. And, uh, you know, they said, you know, this is for the better for me. And, you know, I could bring it down as far as I really want to, but I had to look long term, really. And, you know, everything they were doing, they were explaining everything through. Um, had all the hairs implanted around the front of my head. and. They took it from the back of my head and just planted them in the front. Uh, the procedure itself, you know, was really straightforward. You know, there's was, was no pain or nothing. You know, was, you know, anything I needed or if I was uncomfortable at any stage, you know, they stopped and let me get myself back to normal and then they went ahead again. My confidence has definitely got a lot better. You know, as soon as I finish racing or whatnot, I don't have to worry if somebody stand there with a hat to try and cover what I, I didn't have. But now I can just take my helmet off and just be myself and. I don't have to hide behind a hat. Yeah, no, I just feel so much more better, you know, even like going out for dinner or heading out with your mates, you know, you don't have to worry so much about, you know, really, like I said before, having to try and cover up what I didn't have. You know, I just gel my hair and try and feel, feel like a normal person now. Yeah, the aftercare and DHA, you know, they were, you know, anything I've needed, you know, I just left the phone and asked them and so far, like, you know, it's, just, it's all handling. Now I feel so much better for myself, you know, a few people always ask me, you know, where I've had my hair transplant, and, you know, because they had seen me six months ago with no hair and now I have hair, and uh, I've definitely recommended them to come down and see DHI if they were going through the same thing I went through. You know, it's not hard just to pick up the phone or book a consultation and come down and see, her, see themselves. Like. You know, if anybody's out there that's lack of confidence about hair loss or anything, you know, just search DHI and you'll be sure to get your confidence back.